guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this really simple and easy DIY. Okay, for this one, we're going to be needing a lipstick. This lipstick that I'm using right here is pretty old. I've used it a couple of times, but I never got into it because of the shade. Pretty color, but it just doesn't work with my skin tone and it got bad. So I just pretty much decided to recycle the container and use it for something that I would just um, use it more often. So yeah, just look around. Maybe you have something in your collection that you don't really use and looks pretty. Maybe somebody that you know uh, has something something that they don't really use it looks fancy or cool and this one is called biggest bolt just in case you were wondering and then i'm going to be using a good old chef stick like the regular stuff like the natural one you can pretty much go ahead and use strawberry and i don't really know what other flavors they got by now but i'm using just these two items to make this one the first thing that I'm going to be doing is placing both the chapstick and my lipstick on the fridge for about a couple of hours just to make them chill a bit and they go a bit hard because for this next step it's going to be easier. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to open both first the uh, lipstick and I'm just going to pretty much remove the lipstick part by just pulling it. I'm going to be using a napkin for this because I don't want to make a mess on my hands. But yeah, it should come right off. I was surprised on how easy this was. And then I'm going to use a Q-tip to just clean the bottle from the inside. You don't have to do this, but I just wanted to go for it. And for the chapstick, it's going to be pretty much the same. It's going to be like super easy to just remove. I'm going to be doing the same thing, like pulling it. And then, final step, I'm going to be placing my chapstick on like the container of my lipstick and then I'm just going to seal it, push it a bit so it stays in place and then you can just close it, open it and use it like normal. I thought of just making one more step which is cutting like the top part to make it just like look a bit fancy going with my exacto knife. This pretty much depends on you and your personal taste but I just want to give it a try. With use, the edges are gonna get smooth. If you want you can place it on the fridge again to just make sure it's sealed i didn't go for it because i didn't think it needed much uh cooling to do but yeah, i'm just showing you that nothing happens and you can use it at like normal and yeah that's pretty much it you have a new and fancy-ish looking chapstick from now on this is going to be like my go-to diy for this kind of thing because i loved how uh, practical this is and i pretty much love how this one looks when i go out and stuff and yeah my nieces actually thought that i had bought this one and they were like i've never seen anything like this on any of my collection before and i was like that's because i made it and the fact that it's like super affordable to make uh when i ran out of this one i just have to buy another chapstick place a new one where the old one was and i'm good to go i hope you like it if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up help us out don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff i have a diy playlist on my channel if you want to check it out and share it so more people can watch it thank you so much for watching i hope you give it a try and i'll talk to you later bye guys